Good morning from Drayton Manor theme park in Tamworth. So I've been at uh, Thorpe Park all weekend, so I figured, you know what, it's on my way home. I'll stop over Sunday night and come and see what is happening in Drayton Manor because it's a lovely little park. I have, I've only been once, I came last year and I had a really nice day. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to it. Let's see what's changed or what's happening at Drayton Manor. So the park opens at 10 o'clock, but the rides don't open till 10.30. So it is now, oh, I've lost, oh, I've just realized I've left me watch in the hotel. But I'll have to ring them when I get back. <laughs> Let me see. It is now 10 past 11. Hello, airtime John. Hello, mate. Uh, yeah, just to let you know that you said the wrong time in the vlog. It was uh, 10 past 10. Not ten past eleven. Oh, all right. Cheers, mate. I don't think they'll notice us. But thanks for calling. See you later. Ta. -da. So, I'm heading now. I thought I'd give this a go today because I was on my way home from Thorpe Park and it's something different isn't it? Um, there's not a great deal here for myself, it's more for you know the, the younger kids but obviously it's nice to show different parks and you know maybe if you're interested in coming to Drayton Manor then having a look around with me good self might convince you to or not to. So this is one of the major reasons for me coming because Maelstrom is probably my favourite flat ride in the whole country. Unfortunately, G-Force is no longer operational. SBNO, as they say. But yeah, I'm gonna have a lovely day. Get on what I can. I believe the shockwave uh, went down yesterday, had a bit of an evac situation. So I'm not sure if that's going to be up and running. But I'll take you around, show you some bits, and have a little laugh along the road, along the, along the, along the way, daily. Yeah, one thing I will say is I was recommended by a friend of mine um, to download an app called Kids Pass and it gets your money off certain attractions. You do a one month free trial, so I queued up to get in. You know who you are, by the way, if you're watching this. Um, I felt like a bit of an idiot because I queued up and said, take, take this voucher to the entrance. So that's what I've done. Went to get in and he said, no, you've got to queue up, mate, in the ticket office. So I was like, okay. So then I had to go in with me little kids pass paperwork, hand it in, and she looked at me and she went, just one adult, is it? And I was like, yeah. So thanks for the recommendation there, mate. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I felt like a right nonce, but you know. <laughs> But anyway, it shaved the tenor off my entrance, so I got in for 20 quid, so that's not too bad at all. Oh, here's the pirate ship. I did do this last time, and I remember thinking it was quite good, actually. It was um, quite a high one. You don't seem to go as high anymore. Um, I've got my waterproofs today, so I will be getting on the water ride, which the name escapes me. You know me and my knowledge, you know, I'm not the greatest. Accelerator. Uh, went on that as well last time. That was a cracking little family coaster, that. I think it was a Ben 10. Before my time, it was Ben 10. But it is such a lovely, pretty park. Lovely atmosphere as well for families. So if you have got a family, whoa, what's coming on? Fans of the channel. I don't think it's for me. <laughs> I thought, oh, it's a load of subscribers approaching me there. A trait man. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't for me. I wonder what they were so excited about. That's the way out. It's not that bad, is it? 
I genuinely did forget how small this park is. You've obviously you've got the, the, the lake area there and Shockwave over in the corner, you can see that. And then you've got this sort of plaza area with uh, the accelerator and there's a couple of rides up at the top which I'll explore later. A um, couple of shops here and restaurants, cafe. And then you've got the zoo down that way. And it's, that's pretty much it, it's a really small little park, but as I say, it's got a lovely feel to it. And it's a shame that there's not more. Um, as I say, G-Force is gone now. So that's, I'd, I'd never got to ride that, so I don't know if it was any good. I've heard it was pretty awful, to be honest, but I remember riding Shockwave last time. And it's an interesting one. So it's very, I don't know, it's an experience, it's something different, but I remember feeling a bit, you know, down there, there's a little bit, oh, a little bit, a bit of a weird sensation, let's say, for the men. <laughs> but I'm going to go over anyway and see if it's open, see what's going on with it being closed yesterday. It'd be really good if they could um, get rid of this and build something else, but I don't know, I can't see it happening myself. I don't think they've got a great deal of money, this place. Can't wait to get on Maelstrom. Let's do it right now, let's jump in at the deep end. Pretty intense, you know me. Stomach, all right mate. <laughs> Stomach is not what it used to be. Just in the queue for Melstrom, and I've just bumped into another fellow YouTuber, so we might want to say hello, maybe give his channel a shout out. So, what's your channel, mate? My channel is Theme Park News. Theme Park News. Yeah. What's your name again? My name's Ben. Ben. So, check out Theme Park News, and this is Ben. And what was your last vlog, Ben? Uh, my last vlog was at Park Play Mall in Madrid. Nice. International vlogger. I like it. I'm going to check it out. I recommend you do too. Maelstrom and it was as intense as always really good ride what definitely my favorite flat ride in the country that um, yeah really gets the stomach going flying out your head as I always say and we've seen uh, shockwave testing so fingers crossed whatever happened over the weekend has been rectified because I you know it is a bit rough but I, I do like my coasters and you know me I don't I'm not I don't mind a rough coaster so hopefully get on um, the old Shockwave. If it's open, it doesn't look open. It doesn't look open. Air race. I remember I was nearly sick on this last time, to be perfectly honest. But it's a cracking little ride. So I'll be having a go on this. I am gutted I never got to go on uh, G Force because, as I say, I, I've heard mixed reviews on it, but um, it's one of them, you know, a cred to cred, and it would have been nice to have experienced it. But I do hope. The, uh, they get rid of it if they're not going to be using it in the future. Just get rid. There's nothing worse than seeing a coaster just SPNO. It's just depressing, isn't it? You think this shockwave? It just there's something really sad about the coaster that's no longer operational, but just standing there. Oh, come on, drink man, get rid of it. You're not going to use it. Get rid of it. Little tester seat there, little tester seat. To be honest, I nearly, nearly didn't get on Maelstrom then. And now you know I'm losing a bit of weight anyway, but still not enough. I need to lose a bit more because that was a good pushing job. He had to push me in and you know slide the seatbelt in. But you know, I'm 17 pounds down now from Christmas, so it is coming off. 
but I need to get a bit more off. I'm, I'm thinking about another two stone, you know. Can't be getting knocked back from rides. Can't be doing that. The shockwave's open now. I've just seen people on it when I was on air race. I had a great ride on air race there. I love them Zamperas. So it should be walk on. Right, we've just done shockwave and it was very uncomfortable for the men downstairs. You know what I'm saying, let's leave it at that. This is going to be a very short vlog today because I've got about two gigs of memory left. So, going to be quick Tim Tracker style clips. Look, Jen, a pirate ship. Apocalypse is still closed. I think I'm going to do the haunting now. The Drayton Green Vicarage, 1796. No trespassing. <laughs> Sorry about that, airtime fans. Um, unfortunately, I <laughs> run out of memory at this exact moment. So. I was in a bit of a pickle. I wanted to finish the vlog, of course, but my camera phone doesn't work very well, my phone camera. So, I missed a bit of footage, but then realized in my bag I had my GoPro. So let's go over to some GoPro footage right now. Just come off the haunting there, and it's, it's you know what, I think that's a brilliant dark ride. I think the, the, the middle part where you go into the room, and there's all the effects and the holograms and the the uh, the ghost on the painting. The audio is great. I think it's really quite scary as well. There's all, I've been on that twice now, and there's always a kid who needs to get out. Or you know, sometimes like there was a, it must have been about 13 then the kid who wants to get out. But uh, I think it's a great ride. I think it's really really underrated actually. So this was being renovated, I think, last time or. It was down, I can't remember, Sheriff Showdown, so I'm going to give this a go. I've just done Sheriff Showdown there, and do you know what, visually, it's a great little ride. It's actually, looks looks great inside, but the audio is terrible, like really, really poor quality. Uh, there's so much more they can be doing with that, um, which, you know, it's a bit of a shame because, as I say, visually, it's a great ride, uh, but all you can really hear is the squeak of your gun. Mm -hmm. Well, this one's a great little family coaster. So, you know, you've got to review these things when you're here, haven't you? You know what I mean? And this is actually quite intense, really, for a kid's ride. So, yeah, as I say, the plan for today was just to pop in on the way home from Thorpe Park. So, I plan to leave at about maybe one o'clock. So, I've basically done everything already, apart from Apocalypse, which I wasn't expecting to do anyway. Um, so yeah, have a little go on Accelerator, and then see what else there is to do before wrapping up. As I say, Drayton Manor is a nice little park. Uh, unfortunately, there's not a great deal to do for the thrill seekers, but if you are, queue jumpers there, queue jumpers. If you are, if you are looking to have a family day out, then I would certainly recommend it. There's a lot for the kids to do here, and you know, there's Thomas Land, especially. But I'm not going to go and uh, film over there because I feel a bit weird. <laughs> wow. uh, let's check out Accelerator. Honestly, Accelerator, it's a cracking little coaster that. I think that's the best roller coaster in this place. It's better than Shockwave, hands down. Lovely little ride that. Um, and you don't feel weird on it, you know, because it's, it's quite it's quite nippy, so it doesn't feel like a kid's coaster. It's a, it's a great ride.
I'm thinking now, I've got my waterproof, so I'm thinking I might go on. Um, I can never remember the name of the ride. Storm Surge 10. Storm Force 10. I might, I might do that because I've got my waterproof, so why not? I've never done it. Another ride which is cursed for me is Pandemonium. Because this wasn't running last time I was here either. So that's a shame. I wanted to try and get that pandemonium credits but again it's not looking likely for today this might be a new ride since i was last here the flying dutchman it's a bit of a family ride but i might give it a go do you know what i might i might i might bloody well do it because i'm crazy like that um yeah so i'm gonna head over and do uh the water ride now, which I can never remember the name of. Something Force 10. I don't know. It's a little Bobby Dazzler, that accelerator. Why am I buzzing with accelerator? Am I... Is it just me? And it goes backwards. Crack it. I'm thinking, because I've got to head home soon, I'll be doing um, whatever it's called, Force 10. Uh, and then I'll do Shockwave again, and then I'll finish off on Maelstrom, because it's amazing. Weather's lovely now today. Really cold this morning, but it's uh, really picked up weather-wise now. As I say, it's a lovely little park. There is more to do. Lovely little park. Lots of family stuff to do. You've also got the Ice Age 4D cinema. You've got Thomas Land over there, which again, I'm not going to go into because, you know, I fell in on his own filming round with kids riding that. Am I crazy doing this? I've got waterproof boots on, got waterproof pants in my bag. This is waterproof. Why not? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. It's always closed. That's another one. It's always closed when I'm here, so I might as well get it done. I'll let you know how we get on. Yeah, most definitely my favourite flat in the country that I will be finishing off on Maelstrom. I'm ready. Nice view of the park up here. It is just not my day. The ride has halted and one of the team is on the way up to save the day okay the problem has been resolved and I can now get some footage of the drop for you it looks really good well that's a great little ride that i got absolutely soaked but with the beauty of waterproofs i'm nearly dry already so invest in a pair i know i always say it 12 pound pair of waterproof pants waterproof jacket jobs are good I'm gonna finish off on melson and then i'll wrap up the day it actually surprised me that ride i didn't realize it had three drops i thought it was just up round and down and there's a backwards drop and a drop as you start the ride as well. Hello, Hello. you're right. <laughs> what? what? A little bit. What's your YouTube channel, uh, It's called Theme Park Worldwide. I'll okay. Because okay. <laughs> you need the followers, Sean, don't you? <laughs> right, finish off the day on Malstrom. 
well last ride of the day there on maelstrom and it's so good it's so good i love that ride i could go on it again and again and again and yeah it's just a great ride so that wraps up another visit to drayton manor um what can i say what i haven't already said it's a lovely park it's for me it's not a full day park i don't think i'd spend all day here although with it you know there was a, if there was a load here then yeah you know but for me it's a great little sort of four or five hour park you can get a lot done in your time um, it could benefit from a few more coasters obviously and um, i would like them to be honest get rid of the stand-up elements on shockwave and you know maybe do a bit of you know modification on that and they could have a decent coat there um, unfortunately yeah g-force needs to go they need to get rid of it or replace it with something but apart from that yeah it's a great great family park i would recommend you coming bring the kids go and see thomas where is he thomas thomas the tank engine land um lots lots for you to all do so anyway thanks very much for watching like comment subscribe and the comments mean the most to me because i like to you know get to know people and if you don't comment i won't know that you're watching so give us a like give us a comment especially important and subscribe because that helps i'm here time john you take care of yourself and i'll see you soon Ta -da. buddy <laughs> hello hello buds hello hey the buds hello no Wake up, boots! I know, Woody!